hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to create a simple pop-up in react without using npm package you can use it to implement confirmation box email subscription notifications or display advertisement so i split this video in four steps first one we will create a react application in second step we will design the pop-up with the help of the pure html and css in the third step we will implement the events or passing the pros from the parent component to the pop-up component and at last we will test this whole applications so without wasting time let's jump on the code so this one is the simple react applications that i have previously created using create react app and also remove all unnecessary code from these applications okay so that means at last i have a three pages one is app.js another one is index.js and the last one is index.css okay let me remove this one from this css because i will write everything from the scratch so first of all this is app.js here we will import the pop-up so we're going to create a separate component called popup.js and that this component we will reuse in multiple places so i'm going to import it to react from react from react we'll define the functional component called popup props and then after this one is like returning the div and this is i can say this is my is my pop-up component at last let's export default pop-up so here let me change the spacing to the two this one is a standard spacing for react development we'll also update the tabs as a tool now let's import this one from the app.js so i can say pop up this one is auto imported as you can see it's imported on top when you check the output it's look like this this is good now we will design the pop up first okay so looks like i will add few more div to design the pop-up first of all use this div add class called pop-up box and inside that we will also add one more class div called box okay inside box we have to add button to close the pop-up and class name should be a, let's say button close okay so this button in this examples will simply consider two parts one is close button another one is component and then after in third step we will make it everything's dynamic first of all we will design the pop-up with the static content okay so it's look like this now let's apply this style in css so pop up box is our parent div i can say position it's nothing but it should be a fix left is zero right should be a, oh sorry top should be a zero then after you can say background color here i need to pass it in rgba 0 0 0 0 0.5 okay then height width is 100 percent height should be also 100 vh vh that means we will consider vertical height okay so it looks like it's a background of the pop-up so let's add the style for the box 
here we'll say first of all we're going to add the position relative second things we need to add the width 50 percent we'll add the minimum height i can say 300 pixel also add the background color say f f f that means it's a white color okay it's look like this let's add few more style border one pixel solid has 999 border radius i can say four pixel this is fine now we'll add margin if you can look into it it's like border radius is applied border is applied now we need this pop-up box this box should be in center so for that we'll say 20 is nothing but for top in the spacing and the auto will consider for the center so it's look like this yeah this one is fine so one more thing is pending it's nothing but it's padding now our box is almost completed let's add this overflow auto okay so our box is ready now we need to set this button or need, need to apply this style for this button so we're going to add button close well first of all we can say cursor pointer it's a first style then after border one pixel solid has 999 border radius let me directly apply 50 percent let's add the position that position should be fixed and we need to also set the right we'll use Kelsey for the right position here we have taken the width as a 50 percent so that means i need to apply the position as a 25 percent minus 20 pixels when you check this one in ui it's look like this let's apply few more things minus it should be a minus 30 okay this is good similarly let's apply the top as a 50 pixel and see okay this one is looks like we have uh, this pop-up box now we need to open this pop-up on button click so if we can check these steps uh, we have completed the second step called designing pop-up component now we need to focus on third step so here let's convert this pop-up in dynamic form so first of all we'll pass this content from the outside from the parent component so we'll say props dot content second one we need to handle the close event so i can say on click we can say props dot handle close it's a click event now let's pass Two things from over here handle close it's a event so we're going to just write uh, arrow function and the content content you can pass anything so over here in string or or in HTML as well so let me pass the HTML we'll say div this is my outer div inside that I will say h3 it's a title or we can say h2 okay this is like okay this is sample content for my pop up okay this is fine now we are passing to informations handle close and content in pop up we'll check this thing okay this 
two things are rendering on page so now we need to use state variable to show hide the pop-up so for that we'll use hook your state okay so we're going to say constant is open set is open your state and by default will provide false as a default value now if it's if it's true then i want to show this pop-up on screen so we have used double end operator to show the pop-up and it's a simple like if it's true then this pop-up will appear otherwise nothing will be shown on screen okay so it's by default it's false so that's why we can see it's empty screen now we need one button to open this pop-up okay let me add the button button say button click to open pop-up open pop-up now on button click I'm not going to design this button but we'll show you the functionality first so on button click I want to toggle this pop-up right so we'll create one more method toggle pop-up this one we will create a new function called toggle pop-up constant toggle pop-up here we will change this state variable set is open and we'll use explanation mark and is pop-up sorry is open so that means it will change the state variables and update it so looks like this is fine now we need to pass the same methods to close the pop-up so we'll remove this empty arrow functions and pass it pass the our toggle function so this is good when i click on it we can see the pop-up and on click on close button it's closed so this is a simple way to create a pop-up without package so hope you guys enjoy this video uh, you can reuse this whole pop-up multiple places just you need to pass these two things one is state variable another one content guys this whole project will be available on our site it's a cluemediator.com and you check this one i will also add this pop-up link in description box just search for pop-up we have uh, so many uh, articles written on pop-up you have to simply check this one create simple pop-up in react here i explain everything step by steps and also provide the source codes and uh, demo link so hope you guys enjoy this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon thank you